right, good morning. Time is now 6.20 a.m. Central Time. Uh, and if you couldn't tell, it's raining pretty hard right now. I'm gonna do a full day of eating. Uh, just take you through what I eat today. I got some Belvita chips right here. These are pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I've uh, reintegrated carbs back into my diet, coming off of keto. Um, take you through, I guess, what's been happening, what's been going on in the last couple of days. Uh, you couldn't tell, I look really tired right now, but uh, hey, it is what it is. Uh, I don't feel tired, but my face says otherwise, but it's all good, it's all good. And hey, look, I'm being authentic. I'm showing you, I'm not using any filters or anything like that. Authenticity, authenticity. See how authentic I am? Anyways, we're gonna take you through a full day of eating, gonna show you my macros. Right now I'm eating about 30% uh, carbohydrates, 25% protein, and 45% fat. So the majority of my calories are coming from fat, uh, but I am slowly re-acclimating, re-integrating uh, re carbohydrates into my diet. Um, and yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, yesterday I kind of uh, went off the diet a little bit. Uh, had probably 40% of my calories coming from uh, carbs. Uh, but it's all good, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, uh, first thing that I'm putting in my mouth, that's what she said, is a cold brew. Uh, I got this from Dunkin' Donuts. It has a flavor uh, shot, hazelnut, uh, sugar-free. So I think it's only about 25 calories, plus I love cold brew. So that's how I'm gonna start my day off. Okay, so this is the first, I guess, meal of the day. Um, so what we got here, I've already had some Belvita chips, which uh, I can show you. Uh, hold on a second, pull it out of the fridge had some of these uh, which have which are pretty heavy in carbs 35 grams of carbs and I've had two of those so that's already 70 grams of carbs had a little bit of almonds uh, it's right here which are uh, good in fat uh, keep in mind I'm still getting a lot of fat in uh, just because I'm weaning off of that keto diet again like I mentioned before 30% is carbs 45% of my calories come from fat so here is the first meal of the day we got some eggs uh, these are, are pretty good uh, cage free organic I don't really know the difference um, so yeah these are good got some butter here uh, I like to cook these in butter uh, butter with uh, olive oil sea salt got some Dave's killer bread um, so this is pretty carb heavy as well and it's, it's uh, a low glycemic index carb which means that there's not that much sugar in it so this this meal right here will keep me really satiated we've got some Philadelphia cheese and we got some provolone so as you can see this is really calorically dense because of all the fat that we have um, and we also have some uh, carbs that are slow releasing carbs. So this entire meal Really is gonna keep me full for about probably four or five hours um, And then I'll have a second meal. So this is what I like to eat big meals in the day instead of just small little ones throughout the day um, That way I guess for convenience or just to uh, you know get along with the day and whatnot so yeah, there we go. Um, as you can see, I'm still getting in a ton of fat, like the butter and the provolone and all that. Pretty high in fat, um, but also I'm keeping an eye on my fat and I'm keeping an eye on my carbs, obviously, because 
you gotta be careful. You can't have high fat, high carb. You'll end up just getting fat. <laughs> so you gotta watch what you're eating definitely when you're doing uh, a diet like this. So yeah, uh, that is it. That is the first meal and I'll show you the uh, final product. Okay, final product right here. We got Philadelphia cream cheese, uh, two eggs, uh, a serving of butter, two uh, slices of melted provolone. I uh, got my cold brew right here. I actually have a whole batch of cold brew right there because I love that shit. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go fucking smash this shit. So uh, here we go. I'm actually really, really hungry right now. I'm watering at the mouth because I cannot hold myself back. So yeah. Okay, so as you can see, I ended up going way over my macros for the day. Ended up binge eating, but it was okay. The next day, I kind of cut down my calories, tried, uh, you know, you know, burn off as much as I can, increase my total daily expenditure. Um, and uh, I didn't really hold myself back too much. Uh, I feel like I moved, I move a lot at my job. So that kind of played into it. I was super hungry, uh, but kind of uh, weaning off of keto, slowly increasing my percentages over the coming weeks from 5-10% of carbs or, or fats depending and slowly decreasing fats to fully come off of the diet.